Hello everybody, John here from Incomesh.com. In today's video, you're going to learn exactly how to use Elementor and Thrivecart together to create beautiful pricing tables and also link them up to special pricing options for your online digital product or even physical product or subscription box. So let's go ahead and dive in. I'll kind of show you what we're going to build here. We're going to build this web page together. It's going to include a pricing box and each one of these pricing options are going to link to specific Thrivecart checkout pages. Okay. This is a, it seems a little intense. It's not. We're going to do this step by step. And with some of the efficiencies in Thrivecart, it's going to be an absolute breeze. So go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the like button down below to get more tutorials like this. And with no further ado, let's go ahead and dive into this one here. And let's start from scratch. We're going to go to new and add a new page. We're here on just a kind of an example website I like to do for tutorial purposes. And here we are we're on a new page. So we're, we're going to call this just pricing tutorial. This is great if you want to offer a service or a product at multiple different pricing tiers with other tools that are out there. It can be kind of a challenge if you have multiple pricing options in getting it all to fit correctly or creating multiple multiple funnels, hooking up in multiple different ways. It can be a bit of a burden uh, with Thrivecart, though. It's really not a big deal. What we're going to do first is simply let's get rid of some of the stuff that looks like uh, gobbledygook at the top and the bottom. We want this to be a nice um sales page so we're gonna get rid of the header get rid of the footer we'll use the elementor oops elementor canvas page layout to do that all right and because we like to use shortcuts when available let's click on this little folder here and we're going to find a pre-built page that you can then customize however you would like so as you look through here we can kind of see the elementor library this is with uh, elementor pro has the best ones obviously but there are some pretty decent options as well for um for free what I'm going to do, because I like the one I found up here, I'm going to take this little application uh, template. I'll hit insert. It'll come right in in just a moment. And I'm going to need to pause this video because this video is going to play, isn't it? Oh, good. It didn't. That's nice. All right. So we have our sales page. And then with Elementor, you can click and drag and uh, change text how you'd like. Anything you'd like to do, you can build some really advanced looking pages with the Elementor page builder. I have tons of tutorials on my income income mesh channel my youtube channel go ahead and search around and you'll find plenty on that so now here we have a pre-built pricing table so what i want to do is i actually want to kind of replicate this uh pricing structure in thrivecart to show you exactly how it would look but let's make one small change what i want to show you is both they've got 19 dollars per month 49 per month and 99 per month what i want to do to show you entirely different pricing structures is let's keep these subscription options but then on this one let's make it like a 7.99 lifetime so a lot of services have that lifetime deal at a quite a premium so we're going to follow follow that model and let's create the products that are going to go along with this offer with this sales page let me first see if i can find an image of the product that we're going to use don't really see anything that would use as our box shot so we're just going to go ahead and hit update and pop into thrivecart and go and build these products all right, so everything's saved. So let's pop over here to Thrivecart. I'll head over to my products tab. Now Thrivecart just went through a brand new update. It's really exciting. It's really fun to use. So just follow along and you'll see how simple this cart platform is. So I'll go to create a product. Let's make these digital products just for simplicity, but you could do physical as well. No, no big deal at all. We'll name the product. Let's call this 19 monthly uh, service. Descriptive label. Um, you know, let's actually, this is what's going to be, um, you know, shown up on the invoice. Let's make this a little more real. So we'll call this the basic service plan and we'll end the label. This is just for your management. We're going to call this 19 per month service. We'll just select an owner for this product and then live test. We'll leave it on test, but I'll show you what the live one would look like as well. Let's hit next. Let's set up our pricing. So just to review, the pricing we have here is $19 per month. So we'll go to add set product price. And now we can set up a subscription, which is what 19 per month is. So we'll build them night monthly, $19 per month. And now you have the option as well to give them a trial period. So you could even do like a one day, one day trial period uh, where they wouldn't get any, um, or they would get today's price, let's say 19 or $1. They'd get that trial and then they go into the monthly price there. And, and what's great is that there's a lot of settings. You might feel like you could be screwing something up, but 
all these toggles and switches and things like that turn into some text down below so you know exactly what's going to happen. So for example, this setup here says your customer will be charged $1 immediately for their one day trial and then $19 every month until they cancel. I love that experience, that user experience. Like, you know, you're getting it right because it's telling you in normal English, normal language, how it's working. So for example, a common thing is a one day or sorry, seven day, $1 trial, and then you can go to 19 per month. So let's go ahead and set that one up like that. We'll hit next. There we go. What we could do, there's two options here. Uh, we could add an additional pricing option right here on the checkout page, but we're not going to do that. And let me, let me show you why we're not going to do it. I'll add it first and then we'll um, take it away because it's not what you want to do. So let's just say we have a one-time fee of $799 uh, and that's going to be another pricing option. I don't like this and I'll show you why in just a second. We'll skip over sales tax and invoices. We'll skip over the bump for, for now. I recommend you should have a bump on your checkout anyways. They work well. We'll add a payment processor. We'll just do Stripe for this example. We'll skip over the affiliates, although that's a really cool thing as well. Let's give it a support email. It won't let you create the product without support. And then display total and invoice as well. That's fine. Okay, so now we get to the checkout options, and there are several different ways to go about this. Let's just do the single step now, just for simplicity. We'll go single step. We'll launch the editor. This is the brand new update, the step-by-step, -step, you know, kind of what you see is what you get editor. So let's put in maybe over here our header and we'll just say uh, complete your friction free checkout now. And let's add a little bit of space, adjust spacing, the bottom spacing. Let's give a little bit more bottom spacing. That looks much better. Okay, we can also change the font and do whatever else we want to do. Let me just add an image above the checkout process here. I'll add in like a company logo, reduce that size down a little bit. Looks good. All right, so this is an example of our checkout page. Now here's why I don't like offering different pricing options on the checkout page itself. Here's the thing. There's already enough stuff for your visitor to think about when they're on the checkout page, you know, getting their credit card out, remembering what email address they want to link to it, all this stuff and filling it in that when you have this, which is the pricing option, that can just add additional confusion, additional friction. And on the checkout page, you want them to already have made that decision for themselves. This is why we're going to use the pricing table on this long form sales page to help them make the decision. They can put the check boxes. They can do whatever they'd like to do to help them understand which price is correct for them. But once they click on this button, which is going to take them to check out, I want them already to know what they want. So there's no confusion on this page. Okay. So that kind of shows you what's going on. You can do additional, let me at least add a box shot here. We'll just use this example I've been using for my recent videos and you can see $1 and you'll also see what happens down here. Today's payment of $1, future payments of $19 per month, starting in seven days. All right, I think that looks great. We're gonna hit next. We'd also wanna customize our success page. We'll just do a quick uh, logo as well. Bring that guy down and just say, thank you for your order. Thank you for your order. Great, enough here. We don't need to go too crazy with it. And again, it'll have the content below. So we'll hit complete. We've designed our page. Now what I want to do here is let's just take a quick backtrack and show you how easy it is to change things are out. So if you decide that that multiple pricing thing wasn't the right way for you, go to product pricing and you'll see here are two different pricing options. I'm just going to remove the one that I don't like. Remove that. Now we have our $1 trial. Good to go. All right. So now let's head back to where we were. We finished the checkout. And you can also add integration. So for example, add a tag to them once they make their purchase or even add a tag when the product is refunded, a cart is abandoned, that tool right there, add a tag when the cart is abandoned allows you to send off automatic emails from your email marketing provider that are specifically geared to get them back to your product and to sell your product. So that's a really cool one as well. And if they have a payment process and their payment has declined, the Dunning feature of Thrivecart Pro will automatically start emailing them to try to get them to get their stuff in order and update their credit card information. But you can also send that information to your email marketing platform and uh, follow up on your own with whatever messaging you think is appropriate. Okay, we'll skip over that for now because we don't really need that for the tutorial. And here we go. Okay, so we have our checkout page here. Let's just go ahead and view it. And we'll see this is how the checkout would look again i'm in test mode so we're going to have this banner and this guy here we can just ignore it for now and this is how our checkout page is going to appear so all you have to do to add this to our pricing table just take that link 
we're going to head back over to Elementor. Let me come down here so you can see what I did here. I just grabbed that link. And you can also take the one right from here. We'll just copy the URL. And we can head back over to Elementor. And for this one, let's put it down here. And what we can say, uh, we'll even say down here, uh, $1 seven day trial, risk free, whatever the case might be. All right, so that's that version. Now for this one, let's make one for $49 per month. Now here's where you might be like, oh my gosh, it's gonna take so long to create all these different versions of the same product or this different price points. So all you have to do is hit this little button here and that will copy everything you've done on this guy and you can just make the changes that you need. So we'll clone the product and let's go and edit the copy and let's call this pro service plan, pro service plan. And we'll call this one the $49 per month service. And we want to maybe change the, the URL for the checkout page. We'll call this pro plan. All right. Everything else can stay the same for pricing. Let's just go and edit the pricing. And maybe we don't want to offer the $1 trial for this one. We will say today's price is going to be 49 and monthly price is going to be 49 and there will be no trial period. Okay. And you can also select here if you want to send an invoice every month uh totally up to you doesn't I, I haven't really seen statistics to suggest which way is better uh, but this way you can see your customer will charge 49 dollars immediately and then every month until they cancel that's what you want save and because we're using a lot of uh, thrivecart's built-in functionality we don't need to go and mess with the checking checkout page at all because we didn't reference the price ourselves uh, and i'll show you how that looks once we finish the save here Okay, so now we have our pro plan. We're going to copy the URL here, come back to our Elementor page, and let's come down to this button and go to the link and just paste it in. And let's go ahead and um, take a quick little break before we do the last version and show how this looks on the front end. So we'll go here, view page, and we'll see our sales page in all of its glory. Let's stop that from auto playing. We can scroll down and see our pricing table. We can click on the get started here and we'll open up our friction-free checkout, $1, and then what's gonna happen in 19 days is here. So that looks all good. And then if we go to the pro version, we can come here. Again, the same design, but the pricing is dynamic. It shows it what it should be. We can also put a different image there, probably would make some sense. All right, so we're good on two of the three levels. The last thing to do, you guessed it, let's head back to our product area. Let's come here and just copy or clone the entire settings of that product. And we'll come in and edit one more time. And we will call this VIP, VIP lifetime service. And we'll say this 799, oof, one time fee. And we'll call this VIP plan. All right, go next, pricing. Let's just edit this again. And also, instead of changing everything, it might be easier just to remove that pricing option. And then you can add it again. So here, one time fee, 799, done done all right everything else i'm okay with you know for being quick down and dirty this is perfectly acceptable all right so it'll kick out our checkout link as well let's copy that guy head over to our pricing table and let's go back to El elementor to edit this let me quickly just stop the autoplay this is annoying me um autoplay should be off let's just remove this link <laughs> a little a little annoying Okay, so that video is gone because I'm tired of it. Now here on the lifetime uh, pricing table option, let's just click on this button and you guessed it. Put the link here. Now we have all three checkout carts are linked to this one page and the user can kind of make the right decision for them. So if we view this on the front end, we have our page loaded up. We come on down to choose the perfect plan and we see 19 per month, 49 per month or lifetime deal. And we'll take a look at the one we haven't seen yet. And you'll see the difference here. So it has our lifetime service. It puts the product name right there. So make sure you name it something good for the public. Friction-free checkout. You could add testimonials down here, bullet points down here, whatever you'd like to do. And you have a perfectly performing checkout page. Let's go ahead and just buy it. So I'll uh, test incomemesh.com. And I'm gonna copy my credit card and put it in. And there we go. So we're in test mode, so I'm not losing $800. So I'll hit complete. It's going to process it really fast. And it will go to the completing order, a little loading screen, and take you right to the success page, which we also customize a little bit in the process.
Cool. So it'll say, just have our logo here. Thank you for your order, the total amount and what you purchased. And then if you want to contact support, it'll do what you want it to do. They'll also be emailed an invoice of for their records. One thing that's nice, and I've seen other platforms is if they buy three different products in the funnel, it'll send them three different invoices and three different order confirmations. Thrivecart smarter than that. It sends the right amount of uh, communication that you would expect for a process like this, which I'm pretty pleased with. All right, guys, so that's just a quick tutorial on how you can use pricing tables with Thrivecart and Elementor. So I normally I normally do my tutorials with um, Thrive Architect because I just like it. It's kind of a, a fun page builder for me to use. But Elementor is extremely popular. It's the most popular page builder out there. This shows you exactly how you can use the power of Thrivecart, the flexibility with it, to not slow down your website with adding additional heavy e-commerce plugins on there. While you can still use your favorite page builder, get all the sales funnel functionality that you want, and just have a good time in building it. This can be done in a few minutes, cloning products, doing some of the efficiencies, designing what you want, and then you can even save that design in Thrivecart and use it later on. There's so many things you can do. If you enjoyed this, if you want to give Thrivecart a try, they have a 30-day money-back risk-free uh, guarantee. You can head to incomemesh.com slash Thrivecart. There will also be a link down below to that. And if you enjoyed it, leave me a like, leave me a comment, subscribe to the channel, and let me know what you think about the right way to use pricing tables and if Thrivecart is the right shopping cart platform for you. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Take care.